Hello, intrepid space adventurers. Happy May the 4th be with you, to you. Also known as Star Wars Day. I was having a difficult time trying to decide what to make this video about, so I'm adding a voiceover to some footage I shot when I was in Las Vegas recently. I know it doesn't really make sense right now, but that's just how I'm feeling this vlog today. You know Star Wars has become a huge part of our culture when people practically create an international holiday about the franchise every May 4th, just because it sounds like one of the catchphrases of the film, May the Force be with you. Although none of the Star Wars films are what I consider a definitive favorite film of mine, the franchise has a special place in my life. There's a lot of mythology that has to do with Star Wars, not just in the creation of a story where Lucas followed Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey and Hero with a Thousand Faces, but also in how we continue telling the story to future generations. Star Wars is one of the largest fandoms that I was essentially born into. Fandoms like Doctor Who, Star Trek, and Lord of the Rings, they're important to me because my parents were fans first and introduced me to these series and books when I was rather young and has become something that has shaped my life and how I view the world. I mean, my dad saw the 77 Star Wars film twice, back to back in theaters when it came out. Star Wars is an inspired piece of pop culture that is relevant multi-generationally, and that's what makes it really awesome. There is this magical quality about it that we continually want to tell people about the films and the stories, and continually want to know more about these characters. It has reached its way into the modern psyche of society. What was once the biggest plot twist, as in Luke, I'm your father, is now one of the most quoted lines in cinema. In the 2002 film Reign of Fire with Christian Bale and Matthew McConaughey, there's a scene where they're trying to entertain the kids in a dystopian wasteland with dragons. What story did they use for entertainment? The plot of Empire Strikes Back. Not only is Star Wars important to the fans of the film, but it's become important to our society and how we tell other stories as well. So in a way, Star Wars has become part of our culture's legend. It's like the cowboys or the 20s gangsters, or Billy the Kid, Bonnie and Clyde, even Walt Disney. Maybe even the great mythology and the stories surrounding Las Vegas. See, I tied it in. Told you I would. But we'll have to see where Star Wars takes us. I did really enjoy The Force Awakens, and I hope that they're going to keep creating awesome stories for this franchise for years to come. And with that, I'll end today's vlog. Hope you're having a great Star Wars day, and happy May the 4th.